Ugandan journalists are very passionate about investigative journalism. Investigative journalism became a byproduct of that broader, broader ambition to change Uganda. This is a calling. It's not just a job. I'm not just going to the highest paying institution. We owe society a given function. We must persuade our media houses that this is a very important niche. The caliber of media owner you have determines very much the kind of uh, journalism you get. Perhaps we should ask ourselves what is it that has changed in Uganda and in the global society that has made investigative journalism no longer as attractive as it used to be. We are competing as media houses and at the end of the day we lose the, 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 the public good. There is a disconnect between the industry and the training institutions. The ability for the newsrooms to fund investigative journalism is very important. It should not come as an argument that we don't have resources, media houses don't have resources today to do investigative journalism. They are not investing that money or the resources they have in the right places. Can they invest more of that money in journalism that holds those in power to account? We can only translate that if media houses, uh, let's say uh, nation media or next media and uh, the independent came together and, and said, look here, we can collaborate on a given project. Initiatives such as this by uh, the African Institute for Investigative Journalism and uh, consistent champions who are in the media, who are passionate about investigative journalism. I think this is what is going to help bring back the golden golden days.